Hey, thank you so much for clicking on my video. So today I'm going to show you how I constructed this wig right here. So let's jump right into it. To start off with my closure, I'm going to go ahead and start sewing it to my dome cap. So I'm going to be using one of these like weird, um, I don't know what, it's like a sew-in needle and a little bit of black thread. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the back half of the closure down first. So this is super important, um, along with making sure that your stitching is really, 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 really neat. Um, because this part is going to make it so that your closure lays nice and flat. Something else that I want to note right here is if you look right under my finger, um, I am using a wig pin to kind of hold the closure in place while I sew so it doesn't like flop all over the place and it's nice and aligned. So once I sew the back half of my closure down on the dome cap, I'm actually going to create my like knot or my end of this stitching like behind the actual closure. So this is something I picked up after like making my own wigs a few times. So I'm doing this so that the like hair in that area doesn't raise unnecessarily. So if you do this little trick, your closure will lay really, really flat. Here I'm just showing you how I use the wig pins to line up my actual closure. Um, so there's lines on the dome cap and basically I just like line my closure up with those lines and that's what I was sewing on. Um, so after I finish the stitching for the back half of the closure, I'm going to move to the left and right side, making sure that I pull it really, really straight. Um, any lumps that you have in your closure will like show up in your wig. So make sure that your stitches are back to back and that you're pulling the dome cap as you're stitching. And if you follow those two rules, really it'll turn out perfectly fine. So I want to note that just like with the back half of the closure, I did go ahead and end those knots like behind the closures again to make sure that everything is nice and flat. All the specs for this hair by the way will be down below just in case you want to see that. So now I'm going to move on to my weft so I'm taking the longest weft and I'm going to go ahead and start stitching it onto my wig cap. Again I'm going to use the pins to keep all of the wefts in place and if you look closely while I'm working along the edge of the dome cap I'm making sure that I raise it as I sew. So if you've ever touched a dome cap before it has like elastic on the inside and you don't want to sew onto that elastic because if you do your wig's going to be super tight it won't move around and you probably won't be able to think because your head's going to hurt so bad. So make sure that you're raising the actual like wig cap while you're sewing onto it. And this little tidbit only matters for like the edge of the dome cap. This is the only place that has that elastic. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep sewing. And while I sew, um, only the first stitch goes through the actual weft or the first two or three stitches. And then I start looping around the weft um, just because I don't want to have any unnecessary shedding. Um, and from my experience, when you go through the actual weave itself, um, you get a little bit more shedding. You like loosen up the stitches or something like that. So I go around. Also, if you look all the way to the left of the screen, um, where the like weft is like hanging there, um, so that's where I'm going to actually fold the weft. I do not cut any of my wefts in the back of my wig, again to reduce a little bit of shedding. So I just fold them over and keep sewing. And I just keep folding until like I have a wig basically, which you'll see in the next clip. So once I've placed my longest bundles in the back, this is what I have basically. And in the front of my wig, this is when I start to actually cut my wefts. Um, this is so that the actual wig lies a little bit more flat. Again, one of those things that I picked up after making a few wigs. Um, so right here, I'm just showing you how I lined everything up. And I will be using the wig pins again to hold everything in place. Definitely because it's like single um, little strands of the weft. And once I have everything all nice and lined up, then I go ahead and start stitching. Honestly, making wigs is like really easy. It takes a few hours. Um, but you know, once you make it, you don't have to keep going to the salon to get like sew-ins and stuff. So yeah. So... Alright, I'll stop my rambling. You see, we're stitching, and then you basically just fill up the entire wig. And when you get done adding all of your hair to your wig, you'll have this little extra piece of dome cap underneath your closure. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut that off. You want to cut as close to the stitching for your closure as possible without cutting your closure off. And to finish your fine tuning of the closure, you want to go ahead and cut this lace off that's in the front of the closure. Um, be really, really careful when you do this to not cut off any of those baby hairs. Okay, and this is the final step of me making my wigs. It's 100% up to you if you want to do this part. So what I do is I'm going to attach a little bit of elastic from ear to ear on my wig. 
So this is how I like secure my wig on and all that good stuff. If you do that portion, make sure that you get the elastic band from like Walmart or something that does not roll on itself. It'll save your edges, trust me. Just This is basically my wig. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.